Hey guys. Hope you're doing well. This just came in. It's the Jackery 160. Uh, it says solar generator, but the solar is not included with it. Thought I'd uh, show it to you and kind of talk you through it and why I got it. Okay, this is the Goal Zero Sherpa 50. Uh, when it's pulling 3 volts, it has a 15,600 milliamp battery. Also rechargeable via solar. Um, nice and lightweight, good for my hunting pack. But I wanted something that <coughs> has a little more juice in case we're at base camp, right? So, you get a bag. Probably has all the charging cords you need in it. Yep, there's a little wall wart charger. I plan on charging it up fully and then taking it out in the field. Here's the unit. It's pretty small. There's my hand. Uh, obviously, it's not as small as the Sherpa uh, 50. There's the Sherpa 50, right? But the Jackery is uh, about three times as big. I think this 50 has about um, 50 kilowatt hours, and this Jackery advertises itself as having, I think, double that. Uh, let's see if it tells me on the box. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing charged up and we'll check it out and see how it goes. Um, I Really, I almost bought the Yeti 150. The reason that I didn't is the weight. The Yeti, at least the 150, has a, a lead acid battery. The Jackery operates with uh, lithium. That means that this thing is about 3 pounds, whereas the Yeti 150 comes in at about 12 pounds. On the front, uh, you get your USB outs, and you also get a USB-C out, which the Yeti 150 does not have. And then you've got a spot for a 12-volt adapter, and then power in, which is the, I think it's an 8 millimeter solar plug. And I've got the Nomad Goal Zero Nomad 20. And the plan here is that this 20 is going to charge up. Um, the Sherpa 50 which I'll then carry in my pack when I'm out in the field for the day and then it'll while I'm out it'll charge up the 150 for use at nighttime looks like it has at least a little charge on there it does have a little flashlight on the side two USBs USB C 12 volt out and then it does have uh, AC plug on the side really cool compact little unit uh, 167 watt hours is what it says and then you also get the uh, instructions I'm not quite sure why it says solar generator um, this thing doesn't actually generate but you get the user manual you get um, oh double dub, double stickers is kind of nice we'll throw one in the desk uh, and that's it so we'll play with it and see what we think but for lightweight Portable power that would be good for base camp if you don't have a whole bunch of electricity uh, Or a whole bunch of devices to charge. This is a good option at three pounds Basically for me. I want to keep my LED lanterns charged up my phone uh, GoPro pretty much small electronics um, During the course of a day if I have anything with me that croaks and I need my phone I can carry this uh, Sherpa 50 without much trouble and then at base camp at nighttime to get everything charged up make sure we have light uh, we got that one. So the Jackery 160 Explorer 160 neat little unit uh, pretty good value. I think uh, check it out. Bye